State is they are, uh, you know, their, their head coach is an offensive guy, really throws the ball around very well, uh, has always been effective throwing the football, and they did, they got us last year. Uh, he always has, you know, there's, I've probably w watched, you know, 12, 15 trick plays this morning. You know, there's always something in the book that's coming down the road, double passes, throwbacks, things like that. Uh, he's very uh, uh, inventive uh, of, of what he wants to do on offense and does a good job of attacking uh, any coverage that he put on the field. So that's where they're very, very sound. Defensively, they're very aggressive. They want to come after you from different angles, and they got the, the real good defensive end from a year ago. So the Underwood's back again, and he's very effective. He's been hurt a little bit, but he's a very good football player. And then they do some things with uh, their, their coverages to use the pressure to try to create some turnovers. So They're sort of in a backs against the wall situation now, too. Uh, how dangerous is that when, when you have know, two teams that are really, you know, they're playing for their playoff lives, uh, meaning at the sort of a crossroads? Well, that's, you know, I, I think that's, uh, I, I don't know where they're at with their stuff. I just know I, I watch them. And you get to November, I think we're all in that situation for the most part in November. So it's that time of year that, you know, you, you're getting better right now or you're not. You've plateaued or you're getting better. And hopefully we're, we've hit a stage now that we've made progress, and, and that's our emphasis is we got to make a, a progress again a third week in a row. Back-to-back -back games for the first time this year. How do you take advantage of that, not having to travel at all Back well, I actually think it gives us, it, it, it takes the, not having to travel really takes a, a little bit of the pressure off of after a game, uh, you know, that you don't have to have that travel home, whatever that is, you're not getting home at whatever night, so it feels like you, and then we got the extra hour on top of it, it feels like I got an extra day, and it was only an extra hour, I mean, uh, it, it was it was nine o'clock on Saturday night. I thought it was two in the morning because it just went, it, it just didn't seem right that it, it, we had played so early and we were done and it was still light out. So that gave us some time maybe to I don't want to say relax, but gave you at least some time to take the you, you had a wins. That's always nice that that 24 hour window that you feel good that one's done before you start working on the next one. So maybe it gives you a little I don't want to say it's kind of like an open date. You had a, we had an open open few hours to just catch our breath and then go right back at it again this morning. So I think all those things enhanced getting a team ready this late in the season for the next game. What's the latest on Sawyer Coleman?